does your car battery die after your car sits for a few hours a day or a couple of days and if you don't know how to diagnose the problem you will have to spend several days facing down this problem fortunately determining the reason for the battery consumption is pretty easy if nothing is left on and the battery cables are tight if the battery is able to hold the charge on its own something else in the electric system is draining the battery how do we determine this it's very simple and easy current leakage detector jtc4446 option 1 turn off the ignition and take out the key from the vehicle open the boot or bonnet where the battery is located make sure that you lock the trunk lock manually to switch off the trunk lights loose the negative terminal raise the terminal little bit to insert the tester cable remove the terminal and connect the clamp to it just wait till the car goes to sleep mode you can know that the car is getting into the sleep mode once the voltage is dropping down usually car needs time to enter to sleep mode about 5 to 20 minutes and the proper reading is between 0.02 amps to 0.04 amps option 2 open the door confirm that you lock the door lock manually to turn off interior lights in some cars door contact switch coming stand along by removing this switch or push button the door will show closed position wait for a while till the door and interior lights turns off insert the obd connector to diagnostic port connect backup battery 12 volts connect the clamp negative to negative positive to positive make sure this light is on now we remove the car's main battery wait for a while till the car goes to sleeping mode while we are checking this car we found out that car is having leakage about 31 amps up to the normal which is approximately 0.03 amps by removing the fuses one by one we can know which system is taking the power here is the leakage now let's see to which system does this fuse belong it is the cd changer as simple there is a problem in the cd changer reconnect the car main battery turn off the device remove the backup battery and opd2 connector don't forget to release the door lock by pulling the door handle thank you very much